and at data view you can see it here selected in the view section of the home ribbon just allows us to view all of the different tables that we've imported in. Now we're going to switch to a different view, diagram view, and you can see the button just here. Let's click it, it's going to switch us to a different window and we can see all of our tables in a slightly different way. We've got our orders table, our coffee types table and our customers table. Now we can drag the bottom of these tables up and down to expose more fields, so let's do that. And we can also pick them up and move them around. So I'm going to reorganize these. I'm going to put the orders table in the middle because this is kind of the main table and these other two sort of hang off of it. Now, currently looking at these tables, they are all independent of one another. For example, if I wanted to build a pivot table based off of this orders table and perform an analysis using the customer ID, the extent of the details I'm going to get in that analysis is just the data contained in the customer ID column in the orders table. And if you recall, in this particular table, our customer IDs are just listed out one, two, three, four, five. If I'm doing some kind of analysis on our customers, that's not particularly helpful for anyone that I'm going to send this report to. It would be much more useful to have the customer name. Now, I don't have the customer name field in the orders table, but I do have the customer name in the customers table. So over here we have customer ID, name, phone number, address, so on and so forth. So we have all of our details related to our customers in the customers table. So effectively, we would need to link these two tables together if we wanted our pivot table to be able to access fields in both of these tables. And the way that you link tables together is by a common field. And that is really important here. The tables must have a common field in order to be able to do this. Now, I can see here that in the orders table, I have a customer ID field and I also have a customer ID field in the customers table. So I'm going to grab the customer ID field and I'm going to drag it to the customer ID field in the orders table. And when we let go, it's going to create this little link between these two tables. Now, notice that at one end we have a number one and at the other end we have an asterisk. Now, this represents what we call a one to many relationship. So what this basically says is that one customer could have many orders. And if we double click on this little join, it's going to open up an edit relationship window. We can see the orders table at the top. The customer ID field is the one in use, and that is linked to the customer ID field in the customers table. So this is a nice way to check that you've linked the correct fields. So we now have these two linked. We also need to link the coffee types table to the orders table. Now, again, we need to use a common field. And in the coffee types table, we have the coffee types listed out. So cappuccino, latte, mocha, so on and so forth. And we have that same field in the orders table. So we can use these fields to link the tables together. So I'm going to grab coffee type and we're going to drag it to the same field in the orders table. And again, we have a one to many link. One coffee type could be part of many orders. And if we want to check the relationship, we can double click and you can see here the coffee type field in orders is linked to the coffee type field in the coffee types table. So that all looks good. So now that we have our tables linked together, it means that we can build one pivot table and have access to all of the fields across all of the tables. If we hadn't linked these together and created relationships, we would only have access to the fields within the orders table, for example. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.